Chapter 34 No, I cried. No, this can't be. I stumbled back. I had to get out of that room. I am, I am, I am. The shouts continued until the voices in my head throb. I left a gas if I bumped into someone behind me. Robbie? No. Robbie stood by the door. I spun around. I heard a man in a black suit, a white shirt, and a red and black striped tie. He carried a brown briefcase in one hand and a large spree suitcase in another. He squinted at me. Cat, what are you doing here? He said. My mouth dropped open. Uh, Uncle Victor? He nodded. He moved quickly to the door and slammed it shut and latched it. The cries from the other side faded. Cat, I've been in France, he said. I was expecting you next week. N no, I stammered. I arrived on Friday, you said. He dropped the two cases and slammed it on his foot and slapped his forehead. Oh, no, I don't believe it. I gotta swear you wrote down for next week. Oh, my goodness. Why can't I ever keep any date, uh, any date straight? He rushed forward and wrapped me a hug. I am so sorry. So sorry I wasn't here to greet you. I hurried back to get ready for you. I wanted everything to be nice for you when you arrived. I... I was... I... I was so happy to see him. I was speechless. Poochie yapped and jumped in his legs. Uncle Victor bent and lifted the dog high, whimpering with happiness. Poochie licked his face. Poochie, stop, stop. Uncle Victor cried, lowering the dog. He laughed. You know how ticklish I am, I had to ask. Uncle Victor, can robots be ticklish? Of course not, he said. They're, they're machines. He glanced at the door. Hey, I hope those robots didn't give you any trouble. They could be a real pain. Well, I started. But he didn't get any, but I didn't get any further for the four yappy white dogs that came trotting in the lab. Whoa! I cried. They all look like Poochie. Of course they do, Uncle Victor said. They're clones. They're all clones of Poochie. I took them to Paris and I showed them off. Aren't they wonderful? The five Poochies barked and jumped gleefully on my uncle and me. I'm finished with the uh, with robots, Uncle Victor said. I can't get them to work properly, that's why. I locked them away and I spent my time cloning. I can't wait to tell you about a cat. Cool, I said. I could barely hear him talk or say over the yapping dogs. Uncle Victor grabbed my arm. Hey, I got a great idea. Why don't I clone you? Would you be like, like that cat? Would you like a clone of yourself to keep you company? I pulled my arm free and frowned at him. You're joking, right? I said. That's your crazy sense of humor, right? Uncle Victor, please tell me you're joking. He rubbed his hands together. Why not? Why not four of you? How about a deer? Four cats or maybe ten? You could rule the world. How about it? And then we burst out laughing. And that was Frankenstein's dog. I hope you enjoyed this audiobook of mine. Go check the playlist of Frankenstein's dog. I hope you have a good day. Bye.